In national news this evening, still no speaker in a deadlocked House of Representatives tonight after six rounds of voting. Republican caucus leader Kevin McCarthy has not been able to secure enough votes to be handed the gavel, putting the chamber at an impasse. In the last 90 minutes, the members voted to go home for the night. They're going to come back tomorrow at noon to start the process all over again. Let's bring in News for Jax reporter Joe McLean, who's been watching this unfold and speaking to members of Congress. So, Joe, how did it all end tonight? Well, uh, it ended with, as you said, the members voted to basically press pause and come back tomorrow at noon. The way this ends, though, is that somebody anybody has got to get uh, the majority of votes in the House. And the reason everyone's pointing to Kevin McCarthy is that he's the leader of the majority party. Most Republicans backed him, but that's the problem. Most isn't enough here because of the razor thin majority uh, that Republicans have. This is what the votes look like in the fourth, fifth, and sixth rounds today. All three ballots, Democrat uh, Hakeem Jeffries got 212 votes, the full weight of that, uh, that conference. McCarthy, only 201 votes. And then, of course, you have uh, 20 members supporting Florida uh, uh, Representative Byron Donalds. Now, Republican uh, Representative Victoria Spatz of Indiana also voted present, basically uh, voting for no one. Now, the majority is 218. There are 222 Republicans. So McCarthy needs all but just four Republicans to vote for him. And things got heated today on the House floor. And we will get this right. No matter how messy this process is, we will emerge better for having been through this because nothing great ever comes easy. In a once-in-a-century stalemate over who will serve as the new House Speaker, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek nominated Kevin McCarthy for a sixth Republicans time after five no, previous votes to failed to it give any candidate the needed 218 votes. Kamek took time to hit back at her colleagues across the aisle, some of whom had posted photos of them with buckets of popcorn, appearing to relish in the Republican dysfunction. They want us to fight each other. That much has been made clear by the popcorn and blankets and alcohol that is coming over there. The House is not in order. But the Republican members are fighting each other, with a group of 20 members repeatedly backing other candidates, most recently Tampa area second term Congressman Byron Donalds. But the members from Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia stood firm in their support for McCarthy. Congressman John Rutherford, a former Jacksonville sheriff, blasted the GOP coalition backing Donald's. He wrote in part, now with a majority in the House, a small minority of obstructionists are holding Congress hostage from delivering on our promises. Both sides are, are, are dug in uh, right now. What's been so frustrating is we can't get a clear ask or, or series of demands. Before the House uh, gaveled uh, back in Wednesday we night, I spoke with Central Florida Congressman Mike from... Waltz, who has also stood fast behind McCarthy for every vote so far. Is there a ballot in, in which you would uh, consider supporting another Republican? Look, those 20, <laughs> I think, need to um, to accede to the, to, the, to the will of their peers. Uh, there are 202 of us uh, that have voted to go in this direction. Uh, and that's what we need to do. And I'll be voting for McCarthy as long as he's on the ballot. Democrats, while in the minority in the House, have put every one of their 212 votes behind New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, who took over for Nancy Pelosi as the House Democratic Caucus leader. And as a reminder, the way this works, the Congress we elected can't start its work until the leadership structure is in place. So tomorrow at noon, all 434 members will go back to the floor, take another vote, and they'll have to keep voting until someone gets that majority.